Now, what I'm talking about, the group I'm talking about, aren't people who say, even if the state collapses, there will still be tyrannies or people rising above us, because that argument has already been dealt with. I'm talking about the people who say, well, ending the state isn't the only means. Ending the state isn't even necessary for all nations. And they use these arguments of historicism, which first off means that they're making a red herring, though they'll probably follow it up with a lot of appeals to whatever views or values that they happen to have, and a lot of non sequiturs. It's a triple logical fallacy. I'll make an analogy right now. I'm a libertarian. I don't talk about libertarianism in my book, Anti-Statism, circa 2011, because it's a minimalistic and rudimentary book solely on anti-statism. And I know a pro-state libertarian, Ayn Rand, who, when she's asked questions of national interests, because she has an alternative philosophy of libertarianism, tries to go for it, and it's an alternative answer, which still doesn't solve those disputes, those legal disputes, and if she were to try and rationalize these into laws, then it would fail. If you have a political view, if you have a political view that has chances that you can raise conveniences to society, Whatever these inconveniences that we have now, if your view can get rid of them, that's good. But you also have to make sure that needs that aren't at the moment being met can be met. And this also happens to be very important. It happens to be very important because if I have a lot of weight on my left leg, which makes it impossible for me to walk that's a bad thing but if I'm bleeding from the neck and I can't find anything to close up the wound and it won't close up naturally I have to have a foreign object obstructed for a while then priorities I know it's a bad analogy but I make a lot of bad analogies so all in all if you have a political view where you think inconveniences can be eliminated, I can use libertarianism as an example because they use excessive controls as their argument of an inconvenience. And it's good and all, but you also need to be an anti statist if you, well, you don't need to be an anti statist. If you notice that anti-statism can, or believe that it has needs that can't be met now, finally be met, then you know that's a little bit more important.